Good evening. I was just on Twitter and um, there was a discussion going on about doctors and I suddenly thought I'll make this quick one for all of you guys. So what is a good doctor or who is a good doctor rather? Um, there is a chapter that us doctors are taught. It's one of the first chapters. It's called bedside manners. We are even taught something as simple as we must warm our hands before we touch our patient because cold hands will bring more discomfort. And you know, when we are checking the tummy, how we press it, we're not poking, simple things like that. But what, according to me, is the number one quality that any doctor must possess is to listen, is to give you time. Um, if you feel at any point in time that you've entered a doctor's chambers and you have said, Sir, I have vomiting and even before you have finished the word vomiting, he has started scribbling on his pad and he's not asking you any more questions and you are wanting to say things to him and explain things to him and there he is ready with his prescription and he's like, ye ko khala lena, ye subay khala lena, ye test kara lo, ye x-ray kara lo, dasan baad aana. Um, I'm not going to comment on what, he may be an excellent doctor, but according to me, um, a doctor can only make great diagnosis when he listens to a patient. I'll give you an example. Now, I may sit in front of a doctor and be doing this, but I may continuously be saying, I have tummy pain. I have tummy pain. A good doctor will observe that I am saying I have tummy pain, but my hand is going to my forehead again and again and again. And that will make him think that I need to ask her different kind of questions. She is saying tummy pain. She may be having tummy pain, but does she also have a headache? Is she a patient of hypertension? Does she have high blood pressure? Does she wear spectacles? Has Have her number changed? Is she suffering from any sinusitis, any blocked sinuses? Is her chest clear? So, so, so many things. Um, is she under some sort of a major stress? Is she a student in a hostel and there is exam time and she's basically just wanting a chutti? Or is she suicidal? Just one thing will tell so much to a bright doctor. So as a doctor, I am supposed to not just be paying attention to what you're saying, but I'm supposed to be looking at your overall posture. I'm supposed to be seeing if you're anxious. I'm supposed to be check checking the color of your skin. I am supposed to be listening what happened before this tummy pain. And did you go out and party? Or, you know, are you used to a lot of alcohol? Um, you know, if you're an alcoholic, then the direction will change. If you party, then the direction will change. If you had raw fish, then food poisoning issues will come. If you uh, keep having this tummy pain only after you drink milk, then lactose intolerance will start. So do you understand what I'm saying? So don't be shy of taking your time with a doctor. And any doctor who seems too busy, too distracted, too not interested in what you're saying, according to me, mm, well, you're very smart. Number two, a doctor is supposed to be looking at you even when you have not started speaking to him. That is why ideally doctors and, you know, the waiting rooms used to, there used to be a glass partition. So the doctor could occasionally look and be like, Achha ye, you know, there's an old lady sitting there. She seems to be yapping with somebody on the phone and she's knitting. Um, she seems to be fine. She's cracking jokes. She's opening her bag and eating moongfali. But when she comes in and she says, Beta, meri bahu to mujhe khana nahi deti. Mera bohat bura hal hai. So he will know that, okay, it's okay. Maybe her issue is more psychological. But there is a man who seems to be just sitting very quietly. But every five minutes, he presses his tummy and he winces. That means the pain is really bad. Then every two, three minutes, he's trying to gulp something or he's breathing heavy. So the doctor will know so much just by glancing through his waiting room as to which patient needs more attention, which patient seems to be more sick. Even that patient may not be realizing that that patient is uh, really sick. When you walk and reach a doctor, your style of walking will tell him so much about you. 
uh, you know there may be some neurological um, uh, diseases that will show a certain kind of date um, uh, uh, gait and walk so all I'm trying to say is a doctor can be very bright he may be a gold medalist he may have 35,000 degrees written outside of his room he has to make time to listen to you he has to hear whatever your story is let it be the most boring one let it be a little long one but till you feel satisfied that you have answered enough and more and he has given you enough time to absorb what you're saying to then think about what you have said and then advise you uh, he may be in a bit of a hurry or a lot of pressure he may have become too big to follow these little baby basics of medicine which are simple eh? MBBS doctor like me still does and believes me believes in so yes I quickly made this one for everybody um, thank you Twitteratis my Twitter tribe for inspiring me to do this so now you know one more thing about us doctors inside